So let me first draw the structure of the aryl uh, of the phenyl uh, of the aryl al uh, allyl ether. Okay. So now what happens is that this double bond jumps to this position this double bond jumps to this position and this single bond breaks to this position sorry i made a slight a minor mistake over here okay so this is the case okay so when this double bond attacks on this carbon of the the terminal carbon of the allyl group this carbon has five bonds to manage so it will break off with one bond so this pi bond of the double bond breaks and goes to the adjacent position okay now when this happens this carbon eventually has five bonds so it will try to break one bond so i haven't shown the bonds that are attached to the hydrogens okay so it is assumed that this carbon atoms has hydrogen bonds to satisfy its valencies okay i hope you understand this okay now when this carbon has five bonds now this oc bond will cleave heterolytically and this double this bond will be this electron pair will be shifted to this oxygen okay now let's see what it actually looks like the compound how it how it actually looks like okay okay so this is attached to this carbon this this carbon is attached to this okay this carbon let me number this so you had a better idea of the the question okay so this is c1 this is attached with a single bond to c2 carbon okay now this is attached with a double bond to the c3 carbon okay this carbon is attached to the single bond with the c1 carbon this c1 carbon is attached with a single bond with the c2 carbon because this double bond has cleaved during the reaction all right so and the c2 carbon is attached with a double bond a single bond which was previously there and the transfer of this double bond to this c2 c3 position okay and this carbon has a c double bond o oh, these two bonds remain untouched okay so i hope you get this okay now i'll i'll redraw this structure okay so we have this this is c1 c2 and c3 okay now what will happen this is the keto form of of uh, keto form of the compound all right now we so, uh, we know that the keto and enol form always remain in a dynamic equilibrium all right so uh, it depends on whether the keto form is the more stable or the enol form is the more stable in this case we see that the enol form is more stable because that is the benzoid structure all right so what will happen this will gain so this is the sign of the equilibrium okay so we'll get this c1 c2 c3 and this what what i have done is that what what actually uh, happens in case of tautomerism is that with the keto form the alpha hydrogen from this position jumps to the o and this bond is shifted in uh, in this position all right so this was the keto form of the compound and this is the in all form what is an in all in and an all we have an we have an oh group and a double bond attached to it that is the in that is alkene part the alkene and the alcohol so it makes the enol form okay so we have the keto form and the enol form in this case the enol form is the more stable product because it is benzoid it is a benzenoid form okay 
so i hope you get what is clays and rearrangement all right fine i will take up some examples so that it's clear to you okay so i always suggest you to uh, keep in mind the basic rearrangement reaction the mechanism of this reaction because it's not always that the enol form uh, that the allyl form will be very simple as in this case okay so you have to keep in mind that the carbon at uh, that the carbon atom adjacent to the ether group will attack that carbon that is in allylic position all right so i hope i'll take this example and it will be more clear to people okay so i'll take a more complex compound as uh, as an example and uh, apply 200 degree celsius to this okay now uh, i would rather suggest you to please pause the video for a second and just try this question on your on your own so that uh, you get a clear cut idea okay so i'll i'll solve the question for you now fine so what happens is that this carbon atom attacks carbon at this position so i'll show with an arrow this double bond breaks to this position okay i'm sorry the yeah it is fine this double bond breaks to this position and this oxygen gets a electro uh, gets the electron of this bond the oc bond all right now what happens is that we rewrite this i'll i'll mark the carbons for you 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now let's see what happens this o gets the double bond attached to this position we have c3 attached to the c3 we have the c2 with the c2 we have c1 c1 has this double bond with c3 i have a c4 and a c5 attached i took a c4 and a c5 attached and with the c4 i have a c6 attached okay so this was very simple i only substituted the hydrogen atom of this c3 carbon which was in the previous example with this isopropyl group okay so it doesn't really matter what groups are attached to this the double bond of this the double bond of this um, benzene structure will attack on the allylic position whatsoever be the case it will attack the allylic position carbon so which is the c3 position over here so it attacks on this the double bonds are arranged in a very uh, simple fashion so it arrange rearranges like this all right now what will happen this keto form will rearrange itself to the enol form which will look like this so we have the aryl oh we have this allyl phenol as our product from this aryl allyl ether so this is what is clays and rearrangement this is very simple okay so i hope you understand this